Episode six is all about fraud in a business. What to do when an employee is caught stealing from the company. We'll see what each manager would do in this type of situation. What do you do when an employee steals from you? Who do you turn to? That's the question we asked the new guys on this episode of The New Guys. If you ask me my opinion, I don't care what your guys' rule book says. I don't care what any of you guys think. If you're friends with them, you gotta fire him. You can't have him going around, Tuh! Get him out! Get him out of here! Zeke, in this type of situation, would use the strategic control method. This is a good method for finding and punishing the offender responsible, but this method can be a little outdated depending on the situation, which again shows his old school ways he can't seem to grow out of. I think we need to analyze the situation and take in consideration what needs to be done to this guy. We don't want to have a bad face and look for the company. Uh, we also need to figure out how he was committing this fraud to make sure it doesn't happen again so we can defend the company. In a situation of fraud, Jim, again using his smarts to analyze each situation, would use the tactical controls method for a fraudulent situation. I think this method is the best course of action because it utilizes proper effectiveness while taking into account all circumstances and other matters. Instead of just punishing the person and ruining them for their mistake like other methods, this method would seek justice, justice and the best image for the company going into the future. Other methods can hurt the image of the company from those outside looking in if not done correctly. Well, I don't know how to handle the situation, so we should really go through the policy of this company thoroughly and figure it out. In this situation, Greg, because of his lack of experience, he very likely hasn't dealt with a serious case of fraud, so he probably won't have a good solution as to solve this problem. Each company has a policy towards fraud just like any other situational policy. In a situation of fraud, Greg would most likely follow the company policy, whatever that may be, and would disregard any circumstances.